John Bolton, good morning, Ambassador. You just heard what those voters said about this election. More than 72 million are not seeing the outcome they wanted, and the nation really is deeply divided. There were thousands of Trump supporters marching in D.C. yesterday. How does your party, the Republican Party, address that? Well, I think it's very important for leaders of the Republican Party uh, to explain to our voters, who are not as stupid as the Democrats think, that, uh, in fact, Trump has lost the election and that his claims of election fraud uh, are baseless. Uh, the, the fact is that we, we've seen litigation in all the key battleground states, uh, and it has failed consistently. Right now, the Trump campaign is doing the legal equivalent of pitching pennies. Where are their silver dollars? Where is the evidence? Uh, I think as every day goes by, it's clearer and clearer there isn't any evidence. But if the, if the Republican voters are only hearing Donald Trump's misrepresentations, uh, it's not surprising that they believe it. It's critical for other Republican leaders to, to stand up and explain what actually happened. Uh, they, uh, Donald Trump lost what, by any uh, evidence we have so far, was a free and fair election. But, but you haven't seen that from Republican leaders. Very few of them are, are accepting those results. So, so what happens? I mean, you can talk about that all you want, but they're not doing it. Well, I think they're getting ready to do it. I've said I think this is a character test for the Republican Party. I don't buy the argument that Donald Trump has hypnotized Republican voters or that they're not capable of accepting the truth. This is, this is a myth uh, that's, that's being perpetrated that's simply not true. But it requires people uh, to explain what happened. Uh, the, 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 the Trump campaign simply has no evidence. Their basic argument is this was a conspiracy so vast and so successful that there's no evidence of it. Now, if that's true, I really want to know who the people are who pulled this off. We need to hire them at the CIA. The fact is, this is all uh, blue smoke and mirrors. And I think people will accept that if they see leaders they respect, explain it to them. Probably not those voters I talked to, but you worked for President Trump. You know his demeanor and temperament. What do you make of his refusal to concede this race? Well, if, if he had any character, I would say it's perfectly in character. It, it displeases him when reality doesn't conform to the image that he has of it. I do not expect him to go graciously. I do expect him to go. Uh, but I think uh, pretty soon we'll get the stab in the back theories. Uh, we'll get the dark conspiracy theories continued. Uh, and uh, it, he will make uh, life as difficult as he can for the incoming Biden administration. I think that harms the country. I've been through five separate transitions, and I know how difficult it is coming in and going out. And every day that he delays under the pretense that he's simply asking for his legal remedies uh, ultimately is to the country's disadvantage, certainly in the national security space. And I think uh, given the coronavirus pandemic and in, uh, in the effective distribution of the vaccine and a range of other things as well. So this is something he needs to get over. And again, I just think it requires uh, Republicans to explain that in the nature of things, we need a transition and uh, and we should proceed with it as soon as we can. Let's talk about now.